Hi folks, welcome to MTS. Today we have a Lionel Berkshire Jr. Uh, that had sheared off the two little teeth at the end of the eccentric gear. And as you can see, uh, the eccentric gear is just spinning in place here. Uh, it's a pretty quick fix, uh, and I wanted to share just in case you had the same issue with your Polar Express engine this Christmas. First, we'll need to remove the shell. Now, there's one screw here in the back of the cab. And then we have the two screws underneath the seam chest. Now when removing the shell, make sure you uh, hold on to this little washer that goes on top of the steam pot uh, or the heater element there because um, you don't want to lose that. <laughs> uh, secondly, you're going to need to note the orientation. There is a left and a right uh, side eccentric assembly. Uh, so generally the best way to do it, point uh, uh, the engine away from you. This is going to be the left. This is going to be the right. And today we're going to be replacing the left side. Next, we'll remove um, this screw uh, from the driver. It's a small 5 30 seconds inch screw. Be careful when removing these pieces. We have the screw. We're going to remove, pull out the eccentric gear. There's a sleeve on the eccentric gear itself, right there. And then there's a spacer um, in between this rod here and the uh, the main rod. So once we get that undone, there's one small little screw right here. We'll remove that. Oh, okay. And next, go remove the entire. I believe Lionel calls this as it calls it an eccentric gear assembly. And as you can see, it's supposed to have two small teeth on the end here, and you can see it's just sheared that off completely. Here we're going to find the part that we need. Uh, just go to Google uh, Lionel Parts. Pulls up the part support. We'll click that. Scroll down uh, here. I just type in Polar Express. Berkshire Junior Locomotive. And then we're going to click on this one right here. And Lionel does a really good job of their of their parts uh, explosions. Uh, we'll look at uh, the centric gear assembly that we're looking for. In this case, it's going to be number seventeen or 16 and 17. We'll scroll down to find it. There we are. Eccentric rod assembly. There's the left hand side. Uh, part number in, ending in 311. So here you can see this is the replacement. This is the original and there's the teeth right there. Now we'll replace uh, the new, with the new Acitra gear, there's a small slot in the seam chest where that piece goes. And then that'll help line up this hole. 
we'll get the small screw and get that back in place. There it goes. And you can always reference the other side just to make sure that you've got the orientation the same. And as stated, we have the first piece here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use the other side for reference. So, as you can see, uh, so you had the main side rod, the spacer, then the other side rod uh, with the gear sticking out there. You'll notice that there's um, a slot in the driver and you'll want to make sure that the eccentric gear is pointed in the center, right? So those two teeth actually fit in there. That there, we'll put this on top. Well, let's not forget our sleeve. Leaves in place, spacer, put the other side rod there, insert, we're going to rotate that around, we're going to make sure that's pointed the right direction. And there we go. I always like to put a little bit of Loctite at the end of the screw that's going into the driver. This will keep that from backing out. Okay, and we'll just get that hand started. And once you get that started, then you can go ahead and tighten it down. And I would use the other end. <laughs> the closed end, however, it's a uh, 3 sixteenths. And I don't have a socket small enough to fit that. Okay, again, I'm just going to make sure that's nice and that's tight. And we're going to tighten the screw down. Careful not to strip out the threads. Don't want to over tighten it. There we go. We'll spin the flywheel just to make sure it's not binding. Back it back out a little bit. There you go. And there should be no resistance when you're doing this. So, and as you can see, it is moving just fine. That's reverse. We'll go forward. Full rotation. There we go. Once replaced, we can reattach the shell and have the Polar Express ready for its Christmas Eve run. All aboard! This is the Polar Express!
Well, there you have it. Hope this video was able to help you out. This eccentric gear assembly replacement applies to any Lionel Berkshire Jr. locomotive with the 284 wheel configuration. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the line.